Hey guys, welcome back to Inchworm Gardens. On today's variety spotlight, we're going to be looking at a variety of peppers. You can see the plant behind me. It's called the ahi cachucha. Cachucha is a Spanish word for cap, hat, referring to the shape of the pepper. I'm going to go ahead and just read the back of this packet, if that's okay. This pepper is also known as ahi dulce. It's a famous pepper in Caribbean and Latin American cuisine. Cap-shaped fruit is mild, much less hot than a jalapeno, with sweet flesh, addictive flavor, essential for sofrito, bean, soups, even fresh snacking. Well, let's take a closer look, shall we? All right, so here's a look at the plant itself. It's quite large. As you can see, it's over three feet tall. I put a little yardstick right there. Really nice looking plant. Here's a look at the leaves. So they're kind of crinkly. Here's a look at an unripe fruit, starting to blush a little bit purple. Here's a look at a fresh green fruit. So it goes from green, a little bit purple, starts to put on a little orange. And then here's a look. Oh, here, I guess getting a little bit riper. That's probably ripe enough, but here's the ripest, fully ripe, dark red pepper. Look at that cool shape. It's got like a little plus sign look to it. This one's a little more round, like a little apricot or something. So the shape varies. And then I guess this one is more like cap shape. So a lot of different shapes, but as you can see, really nice looking pepper pod. Nice looking plant. It's grown really well. I'm here in Tennessee, Zone 7. It's uh, early August and it's starting to really put on some fruit. Yeah, it's been real easy. Nothing much to, else to say about it. I've grown it the same as all my other peppers and uh, it's just, just really starting to take off. If you're in a hotter climate, a more tropical climate, then this can be a perennial for you. But this is just an annual in my area. So come winter, it's gonna freeze. But right now it is producing and looking real nice. So let's go ahead and harvest one of these peppers. So very cool shape, really neat looking pepper. You can see it's a little flat, has that cool ribbing in the middle, very unique. So let's cut it open and see what it looks like inside. All right, so it's pretty thick walled, so I can tell from that it's probably gonna be pretty crunchy and juicy. Not a ton of seeds. You can see they're all kind of concentrated right up there at the base of the stem. There you go. So this variety is the Capsicum chinense, which is in the same family as like a habanero and uh, some of these other spicy peppers, which usually have like a real intense kind of floral smell to them. This does not have that. It just smells like, um, like a bell pepper. It's not a real strong flavor. I've heard, or sorry, strong aroma. I've heard it has like a real nice smoky flavor, but not getting that from the smell of it. But let's give it a chance. Let's try a little bite. Cut off a little chunk. Ahi cachucha. Hmm, that's nice. I like that. It's mild. It does really just taste like a bell pepper, but it has a real nice kind of mellow, mild pepper flavor. Sometimes raw bell peppers to me have kind of a, a taste that I don't really love. I'm not sure what it is, kind of a, just a little, kind of almost a soapy taste. I don't know what it is, but this is real, real mild, real clean. It's crunchy, it's juicy, but it's real, just kind of like real mellow. Um, yeah. Of all those things that I listed in the beginning, seasoning pepper and, and this and that and sofrito, I'm sure it could be used in that, but this is really nice as a snacking pepper. It's just real mild, light, 
tasty, pretty sweet. Um, I like it. I do enjoy it, but it's not not the, quite the flavor that I was expecting. I was expecting a little more unique, smoky, complex, seasoning pepper type experience, but it just kind of tastes like a, a mild bell pepper to me. Um, but still good, like I said, it's still enjoyable. It's really pretty. The plants are very productive, so it's definitely worth uh, growing, I'd say. I'll probably make some sauce with this. I'll try, um, maybe try pickling them, see what I can, see what else I can do with it. But uh, yeah, there you go. You know, not, not insane, nothing crazy, but it is a pretty good pepper and it does have a nice taste, It'd be a good snacking pepper. So there you go. That was the Ahi Kachucha. I got these seeds from Baker Creek. If you enjoyed that, then pick up some seeds and give it a try. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you on the next one.